Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. It's Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we're talking All-American Homecoming. Today we are talking about potential ships and updates of ships of where the show is heading because we only have two more episodes you guys left of and which is going to feature, I guess, Homecoming and some Fallout and things of that nature. However, episode 12 looks very messy. I just got finished watching episode 11 and wow. You know, the thing is, is that I'm actually here. I feel like there's chemistry with um, Damon and Thea and I actually I ship it and I'm hoping that they go in the direction of JR and Simone because I actually think they would be a bomb power couple you guys that would be awesome and it was also interesting because the actor who plays JR I believe his name is Sylvester he was in uh, <laughs> Simone, the actress that plays Simone, um, Jeffrey's comments because um, Michael Blevins, of course, who's Jordan from All American, was like leaving flirty comments or whatever at this new picture that Jeffrey had posted. And he was in the comments, Sylvester was tagging Greta, who plays Layla on the show. So I was wondering if that was like a potential hint that maybe, possibly, we could see some JR and Simone stuff. That maybe as like a get back after Simone like gets over her breakup with Jordan and everything else, that JR is the one that's there by her side because Damon is preoccupied with Thea. And then next thing you know, drama ensues because that's, you know, now his half brother and his half brother has known since day one that he has been into Simone. However, timing has just never been right because either one of them have always been in a relationship with somebody else. I mean, I can totally relate to that situation uh, where there's somebody that like you're into. However, the timing is never right. And neither one of you are ever single at the same time. And like the short time period that it might be, one of you is not ready to, you know, be in a relationship. You're not emotionally available for the relationship. So I totally get where this is going. I would love it, though, if the actual end game was Damon and Thea and JR and Simone as opposed to it being Damon and Simone and it's like I see the chemistry but I also really like Thea and Damon I think they have a really cute connection but I just I don't know I feel like it's not going to end well you guys because he is still very much into Simone very much still will drop anything to be around her, looks at her with like those puppy dog eyes and those savior actions and everything else that's about it. So I'm just trying to figure out like how long this angst and slow burn is going to take place. Like, are we going to see in season two, you know, potentially things progressing with Simone and Damon, like, I would love it, like I said, if they go the angle of, you know, continuing on with this Damon and Thea thing, and then they also progress things with JR and Simone, Damon gets jealous, J Damon gets upset, is trying to, like, stalk them as a couple and get all the details of what they are and what they're not doing and everything else, and then it could just blow ahead. And I know some of you are going to be like, that's messed up, they're half-brothers, this and that, and I'm going to say to you guys, have you guys ever watched The Bold and the Beautiful, and have you ever heard of Brooke Logan? So there is that. But I don't think that that's the type of angle that the show is going, but I would totally love to see it, because I actually, from a chemistry perspective... I actually see the chemistry with Simone and JR, and I would just love it if they were actually the couple and the it couple and the endgame couple instead. But we'll see what happens. We will see what happens, and we will see how this all turns out. I just didn't want a situation like, you know, where already Thea and Simone are frenemies, and now you're going to put a guy in between them. Like, I just felt like they just didn't need any more drama between the two of them, let alone a guy. So that is my only reservation about them going this direction with um, Damon and Thea. So we'll have to just continue to monitor it and see what comes of this. You know, the preview looks a little bit messy, like there could be some trouble in paradise, but maybe they resolve it. And it's just kind of, you know, getting clarification on, you know, what the nature of Damon and Simone's relationship is and everything else. So I still think that they'll at least last for a period of time. 
But I am hoping that JR slides in there and is there to comfort Simone now that Damon will be busy with Thea, you guys. And I love the date that she had planned for him to, you know, do all of the relaxing and the athletes um, stretching and everything else. Very good idea. It just seemed like very wholesome, very healthy, very, uh, you know, it was actually really nice and enjoyable to see. So I enjoyed it and I hope that they don't, you know, burn this couple to the ground before it has an opportunity to thrive because I actually really like them and they just got renewed, you know, for season two. So I'm excited about that as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, though. Are you guys here for a Damon and Thea relationship? Are you guys still here for a Simone and Damon relationship? And what do you think about the possibility of Simone and JR being a couple? Please let me know in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.